absolutely knackered. Never melt yellow snow. Look for a cup of tea. About 12 o'clock, fell asleep. It's a little bit chilly this morning. The tipple of my choice for reason to stand on the road. Well, hello and welcome back to another video. It's been a while. I'm back out in the Lake District and today I'm taking off another way and right. Clow Hill, Clow Head, I think it's called. It's on the Helvellyn Range or the range that leads up to Helvellyn. And I'm blown out my arse. I'm absolutely knackered. The reason why it's been a while is because I've got a bit of a cold, I've got a bad chest. Still got a bad chest, but. A nice easy one just to get out uh, and it's a lovely day absolutely fantastic day sunshine it's about nine degrees feels really warm zero wind if any or a little bit of wind maybe oh, more of the same i'm afraid i'm trying out my new hillyberg tent which i've tried it a couple of times still trying to get the hang of it we'll see how it goes today and i'm obviously trying out a new DJI Pocket 3 gear camera and see how that goes as well. So far I'm liking it. Anyway, when I get up here, because I am knackered, it's taking it out as maybe I was too eager to get out. But we'll see how it goes. I have parked the car at a freebie car park that stands at around about 420 metres so it is a bit of a cheaty one uh, Claw, Claw Head is around about 712 metres or something like that so I'm already fairly high up so it is about two and a half mile of more or less flat easy going and then the last mile up to Clough Head is fairly steep and that's the only bit of climbing to do and I'm going to do a camp so this is where I was meant to be getting me water from but if you look up at Claw Head or Claw Head or whatever it's called, there's a brook or a string that runs half the way up. That's where I'm going to get my water from instead of carrying two kilograms of water. So there I'm standing on White Pike just before Claw Hill or Claw Head. Oh, I'm absolutely blown out my ass. So I'm gonna get myself on the way up there now.
that there is the summit <laughs> of Clow, Claw Head, I think it's called. <laughs> Still don't know. But I'm just off the summit a little bit. As if I'm just walking down here. Oh, I can see the tent in a second. I hope. It's fairly busy up here. So, and it's too cold to start sitting around and I'm quite early. It's about half past three, almost four o'clock. And it's too cold to sit around, so I've had to put the tent up. So I've come a little bit further away from the path. And I'm in the uh, Hilleberg Solo. And this is a red label. Good enough for me. Similar setup as usual. Me, uh, my mat, insulated mat that I use from Yakto fits this perfect. It actually fits it better. <laughs> and I've got both ends open. And uh, that gives it plenty of space for my bag. I'm just about to get the sleeping bag and mat rolled up, blown up. So I'm all set up in the tent now and uh, it's nice and warm in here actually, not too bad. I've got, um, I had to fix my air mat, it had two leaks um, but I've successfully fixed it and that's the Seed Summit Etherlite XT insulated. Um, and I'm in the OEX Lithium EV sleeping bag, down sleeping bag. Um, I've got a cushion, just a simple one. And I've got a pillowcase and I put this in it. It makes a lovely pillar. Uh, for later on I've got merino wool long sleeve top and merino wool leggings. And some down pants or down bottoms. Sounded an American there. And I'll see I've got another down jacket, just a, a thinner one. For if it gets cold on the night. Now, what have I got? Obviously, I've got some uh, teas and coffees. I might just have one of them in a second. I might have a cup of tea, keep the coffee for the morning. For snacks, as I mentioned, I've got two sausage rolls left from Greg's. Love them. I've got some cheese, I've got some um, short caramel shortbreads from Greg's as well, a couple of twirls and then I've got in here I've got basically a pot noodle with some gravy and mince in, that's for me main meal. Now for five is in the hour I have Edinburgh Gin Distillery and it's a raspberry liqueur. Looks nice and I've got some strips to have with that. As I previously mentioned as well, didn't bring any water up. So I'm going to have to fill this up with some snow. Melt snow. Try not to get it from where I've had a wee. Never melt yellow snow. That's a good tip. It's a pretty obvious one though. Let's try and get some of this off the top. Enough for a cup of tea. Pretty good, the jet boil zip. I've got these little 100 gram cans that I use and they seem to do for one trip. That's, but I refill them after every trip. So it's 
back to the full capacity again. So just, I always know I've got gas, enough gas. I mean, all I do is make a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and then maybe it's a pot noodle or something. I don't really use a lot. No better than a nice cup of tea. Brilliant. I'll talk a little bit about this new thing I'm videoing on. It's called a, a DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So it's the latest one and it's, uh, it's I'm really impressed with it. It's taken the video on to a new level. So I'll just press the screen and now I've got it on active track. So as I move it moves. It's pretty good, guy. Like. <clears throat> and it comes with a pretty nifty microphone as well, um, which has been the being of my life. Uh, sound. You get forgiven for bad footage, but never for bad sound. So hopefully this fixes that. Now I'm going to have this cup of tea, and we're going to get some warm gear on because I'm getting a bit cold now it's starting to the temperature's really starting to drop and then I'm gonna have me uh, five is in the hour it's time for a tipple so I'm in my bag getting nice and warm it's a uh, def temperature's definitely dropped um, but I've got only one gear on now. Anyway, that's that time again. Five is in the hour and it's time for a tipple. And this is the tipple of my choice. It's 20% alcohol. It's a raspberry liqueur. And it's basically, it's I think it's gin. Yeah, it is. Edinburgh Gin Distillery. There you go. So we'll just get this poured out. Straight in. A lovely jubbly. And I've got some Swepps lemonade to go in there too. Alright, let's have a look. First day I'm just going to get straight into it. Oh, it's very sweet. I think I've had something similar to this before. I mean it's nice. But it's nothing new. I think I've actually had one that was nicer. Bit like um, cordial, bit like um, you know, juice that you would put in water. But I'll score it. I'm going to give this a like a five out of ten, I think, purely because I've had a, something very similar before, and this isn't as good. But I'll still enjoy it, as always. A few moments later. now 12 o'clock I fell asleep um, like I said I hadn't been feeling well shouldn't have really came camping to be honest but needed to get out but I've woke up I've gotten out of the tent for a bathroom break I've decided to start taking pictures uh, I've been up to the summit and took some pictures of Keswick um, and now I'm hungry <laughs> Strange time to come back to life, 12 o'clock at night. Anyway, I think I might um, make this hot food if I can be bothered. And then I'm going to set myself back off to sleep. And I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. Can you little sleep after 12 o'clock? So I did get up, did manage to get back to sleep. I have got a sausage roll there for breakfast, so I'll possibly have that and a cup of coffee. And I'll get back to you when I'm packing the tent away. 
It's pretty frosty out there and there's a sunrise so I'm going to go out and see if I can catch that. Oh. It's a little bit chilly this morning but there's a beautiful sunrise. I think I'm just going to get, I think I'm going to get packed up because I'm for reason to stand in around. I've had a cup of coffee and I've had um, a sausage roll. <laughs> Can't be bothered to cook anything, but uh, I want to get this tent away and head off back down. Oh, well, that's it, tents away, all packed away. Always remember, leave no trace as always. So, I'm heading off back down. Um, hope you've enjoyed this little short video, it's only a small one because I still don't feel well, but I just needed to get out and get out of my system. Sometimes you just need to get out. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully it'll be a bit longer, a bit more interesting. Catch you in a bit.